So when I'm thinking about building stairs, or when you're thinking about yeah. building stairs, what are the two or three things that you sort of have to get right? Well, you have to get the riser height correct. That's our step up from one step to the next, the yep. riser. That's right. And you have to think about that being a comfortable step, mm -hmm. step up. So seven and a half is the magic number that you try to get to. Yeah. All right. Under eight, over seven is always comfortable. Right. So that's a good size, and they can't vary that much between step to step. They can vary a little bit, but. Well, you take one run of stairs right here. If the riser height changes, and not each one, but a total of three eighths of an inch or more, technically that stairway is illegal. So we need a level of precision and comfort in terms of the height, and then the step itself, the tread where we put our foot. Well, you figure that at an average about 10 inches, 10 and a half. So if you take two steps on a riser, you want to be around 26 to 27 inches is the right number to be yeah. at. Okay. Okay. But when you're figuring out stairs, you have to calculate the height from point A to point B. First floor to second floor. For you example. have to think about what finishes are going to be on this floor and what finishes are going to be on that. Floor. Hardwoods here that are three quarters of an inch, tile there that's half right. an inch. So let's take a, a situation like this right here. If I'm going to measure from this floor to that floor. I know that the finished floor, whatever's gonna go on that floor, is gonna go on this floor. Yep. So the thickness is exactly the same. So now I can actually take my measurement and I can go from rough to rough. 69 and a quarter. And that, now if I put finished floor on the bottom, it'll be 69 and a quarter. Gotcha. Okay, so I've just added that in. Over here, I have one last stringer to cut. The important thing is once you calculate the height for the riser and the height for the tread, I take my framing square and I put those two dimensions on my framing square. Rise, right? run. Correct. And it's 7, 11, 16, so it goes right here with the edge of that, yeah. and nine and a half for this tread. You lock it in there, this is set up, and you can do it for every stringer, every step. Right. They have all kinds of little attachments yeah. that you can put here. I like a long straight edge in case I run it along the edge and maybe there's a knot and I, those, little, those little tabs would fall on that notch. Okay. So now I have a straight run, I go up here like that and I mark them all off. Yeah. All right. Once I've cut my first one, I then mark it, I'm going to just mark it, I just go template. So instead of going back to this for stringers two, three, and four, you go back to the template, lay it out, and use that. Right, because if I laid each stringer out with my framing square, I could be off yeah. a sixteenth or an eighth inch okay. on every one of them. Start tight, use a template. Right. All right. You've cut a couple of these already. Yeah, I started cutting it. It's my last one. All right, so I'm going to cut these if you want to finish the cut up with the jigsaw. All right, that's it for the stringers. Let's get this one screwed in place. Just lay the bottom right on there. Drop it right down. Perfect. Good there. All right, let's just get let's get this screwed off. That stairway's done. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.